Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Street Fighter 2, The Final Challengers, DJ by Jada Toys. And huge thank you to the folks over at Jada Toys for sending this out to me. I do appreciate it. Huge shout out to the homie June. He's always hooking it up. And he's doing some incredible work over there at Jada Toys. They've been killing it with the action figure stuff. The Street Fighter figures, the serial mascots, the Universal Monsters. All of it has been amazing. So I can't wait to see what else they have in the future. But let's go ahead and get into DJ here. So... You know, as you may know, I'm not the biggest Street Fighter guy. I just love these figures because of the quality and the fun factor. And, you know, I did grow up in the era of Street Fighter 2, like most people my age. I did play that game quite a bit when I was younger. And I have collected several of the action figure lines that have come out of Street Fighter. Like, I was a big fan of the Soda Toys Street Fighter stuff. They were killing it. And I feel like Jada Toys is kind of like the evolution of what soda toys was doing so that's another reason why i'm such a big fan of these figures and you know what's kind of crazy is that it sounds like this figure right here is the first time that we've ever seen dj in figure form so i do appreciate the fact that jada toys made sure to knock this guy out and it looks like they did a great job taking a look at the packaging here i love the design for the street fighter packaging it has like this arcade kind of thing going on. Up here we get some like energy bars. Down here we get like some buttons and some artwork. <laughs> it is so cool, man. And then through the window you are able to see the figure along with the accessories that he comes with. On the side we get some artwork and some information about DJ. And then on the back we get a look at the figure. And then down here we get the character select screen. And man, the, <laughs> Jada Toys is kind of running through the Street Fighter lineup here. I think at this point, they've almost released most of these characters. We still have some on the way. I'm really looking forward to Blanca and Bullrog. Guile is probably my favorite Street Fighter figure. I have him. I'm going to review him too. But yeah, they've got some great stuff on the way. And then on this side, we get some more cool looking artwork. And that's about it for the packaging. It is collector friendly and all that good stuff. But enough about the pretty box. Let's go ahead and get DJ out and take a look. Alrighty, so here we have DJ right out of the box, and just like all the other Jada Toy Street Fighter figures, this guy is awesome. He's so much fun to play with, he looks great, the articulation is ridiculous, and yeah, it's just another banger from Jada Toys. As you can see, he looks really good, very well sculpted, nice muscle definition, and really nice like subtle paint wash in there that looks good. The figure has a whole bunch of attitude, mostly because of the two head sculpts, you know? They're like these big, cheesy smiles. It looks like he's the type of guy to have a lot of fun fighting. <laughs> so, yeah, he came out really cool. And I can't tell, like, if there's any reuse here. I was trying to compare it to the Ryu body, and I, I don't know. It kind of seems like the upper torso is bigger. It, it feels a little different. The articulation setup is the same and everything, so all those types of cuts are very similar. But as far as, like like the size and some of the details, it looks different. So I'm pretty sure that DJ is all new. I could be mistaken though, I don't know. It feels new for sure. But yeah, look at that man, really great looking figure. And again, he, he just has a lot of attitude, definitely looks like he would be smiling during a fight, whether he was getting his ass whooped or he was whooping ass. He's still going to be happy either way. <laughs> and then taking a look at the details on DJ, starting off with the head sculpts. I think that one area where Jada Toys was kind of struggling early on with the Street Fighter figures was the head sculpts. But I think they've come a long way. A lot of their recent figures have great head sculpts like the Dalsim and M. Bison. And now DJ. Like, I think they did a great job on this. The facial expression is perfect. He's got that big cheesy smile. It looks really good. And yes, it does have like a soft animated kind of vibe to it, but obviously that's very intentional. And I think it looks awesome. So look at that. The hair looks good. <laughs> look at the M on the side of the head. And then he does have his braids. And that's actually removable. So if you want, you could plug it into the other head sculpt. So that's nice to have that option. But yeah, this looks good. And then check out the green eyes. The teeth. The paintwork on there is nice. So yeah, they did a really nice job with the head sculpt. And then for the alternate head sculpt, we have DJ just straight up laughing maniacally right here. He looks kind of crazy. Still looks like a dude who enjoys 
fighting but with this head sculpt it looks like he may enjoy it a little too much he's going crazy right here but this looks awesome and as you can see there's a little bit more paint work than the previous head sculpt because they had to paint the tongue and then the back of the mouth and then you know we have the teeth and the eyes and stuff so yeah this is good man this is a great looking head sculpt again he does have the m on the side of the head and then his crazy hair he's got his braids and these braids are a little different than the braids on the other head these kind of hang down on the back here instead of going over the shoulder like the previous set but yeah look at that man that's a great looking head sculpt both of the head sculpts are really well done and then moving down to the body you can see that all the muscles are really well sculpted and there is some nice paint work in here you can see that there's a little bit of a wash and yeah that looks awesome they did not overdo it with the wash it's pretty subtle but i think it does its job and everything here is sculpted really nicely all of the articulation is well hidden into the sculpt and looks good like look at the shoulders man they do a great job right here and then same thing like with the diaphragm cut no gaps or anything and then moving down to the pants i love the texture that's on here it's not a whole lot but you could definitely see it and then the side of the pants say maximum and I do love the orange and the blue right here. I think the orange, is there a wash in there? I mean, there it looks, yeah, there is a little bit of slight variation of color, huh? Because you can see a little, like, light orange in there. I didn't notice that at first. That's dope. So we get some highlighting. And then for the arms, he does have pinless elbows, and he does have his gloves. And then check out the texture on the, the wrist part of the gloves. That's dope. So yeah, really nice sculpting work on DJ. I think they did a great job with the head sculpts, with the muscles, the pants. Everything looks really good on this guy. In addition to the two head sculpts that we've already looked at, DJ does come with some additional accessories, including two sets of hands. So first off, we have a pair of fists. And then he comes with a pair of celebration hands, I guess you could call them. I don't know. On the right side, we have a pointer finger. And then on the left side, we have a thumbs up. So I really like these fun, expressive hands. Although, like, he doesn't come with a bunch of hands, I think what he does come with is pretty much perfect for the character. These hands right here definitely help him uh, express himself a little bit. So, yeah, I like the hands that he comes with. And then for the final accessory, he does have, like, an effect. And this is very cool. I think uh, Jada Toys does a great job including effects that go with the characters. And I think this looks nice. I do wish that it came up a little higher, though. I feel like it kind of sits a little low. I think that this stand probably should have had just like one more post and the stand is cool it's like an articulated arm with a base down here so it is nice but i wish it came up a little higher like maybe just to right that right there would have been perfect i think but it's a very cool effect it's made of like translucent soft plastic it has some really nice colors in there imagine getting some light behind this i think that would look awesome and the base just plugs right into a hole in the effect so yeah, man, this is uh, really dope. The only problem with it is that I wish it sat higher. But aside from that, I think it's very cool. Alrighty, so now for some size comparisons. Here we have DJ alongside the Jada Toy Street Fighter Ryu and the Jada Toy Street Fighter Fei Long. And Ryu and Fei Long were some of Jada Toy's first Street Fighter figures. And it's interesting to see how far they've come in such little time. Like some of the newer figures are a lot better than these two. Although these two were really good. And since then, they've re-released these guys. And the re-releases have been better as well. So yeah, it's cool to see that they're improving so quickly. But I think DJ looks great next to both of these. And then next up, we have DJ alongside the Jada Toy Street Fighter Dalsim. And the Jada Toy Street Fighter M. Bison. And Dalsim, at this point, is still my favorite Jada Toy Street Fighter figure. They killed it on that guy. But DJ is definitely up there in the same kind of category as Dalsim. And then next we have DJ alongside the Spin Master God of War Kratos and the Jada Toys Chung Lee. And man, when it comes to like video game figures, Jada Toys is definitely in a league of their own, especially at this price point. Like the Spin Master stuff and the Jada Toys figures are roughly around the same price. The Spin Master stuff may be even a little bit more expensive, but damn, Jada Toys is just like so much better <laughs> than what we see from some other video game action figure companies out there. And then here we have them alongside the Figma Link and the Jada Toys Mega Man. I would like to see Jada Toys get into like Link and Zelda characters. I think that'd be cool. Although I do love this Figma one. But yeah, they're doing a great job with Mega Man. So it'd be interesting to see them do some more like, you know, more of these type of video game characters. Like the smaller, more like, 
I don't know if you want to call them kid friendly or cartoonish kind of <laughs> characters. I think they would do a really great job on Link. And if you're one of those people that have the Soda Toy Street Fighter figures and you're good with those, but you need a DJ for the lineup, here he is alongside the Soda Toys Ryu and the Soda Toys Vega. Man, I can't wait for the <laughs> Jada Toys Vega. That's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, I think that the Soda Toys figures, they're still pretty good. I think they hold up. They're nowhere near the level of the Jada Toys stuff. But, you know, if you need a DJ for your Soda Toys collection, I think that he will fit in pretty good. Stepping away from video games, here we have DJ alongside the Mafex Magneto and the Marvel Legends Cable. Next up, we have DJ alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and the Marvel Legends Renew Your Vows Spider-Man. And then here we have him alongside the Mafex Comic Book Captain America and the Mafex Comic Daredevil. And then last but not least, here we have DJ alongside my original figure, the Unparalleled Universe, Odious. And then on the opposite side, we have The King, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mirage Comics, Kirby, aka Jack Kirby. And hey, once again, huge shout out to June because he actually supported me quite a bit and helped me with some advice and stuff when I was making my Odious figures. So I'll always appreciate that. In my opinion, the main attractions when it comes to Jada Toy Street Fighter figures is the articulation and the fun factor. And DJ delivers in both of those aspects. This figure is so much fun to mess around with. You could get him into all kinds of crazy, exaggerated fighting poses. And it's one of those figures that it's definitely hard to put him down once you pick it up and start playing with it because it's just so much fun to like fiddle around with it. And I think that's been the case with almost all the Jada Toy Toy Street Fighter figures and honestly it's kind of the case with all of their figures all of their action figures have been a whole lot of fun to play with and you could tell that they prioritize articulation and fun factors so they've been killing it in that regard but let's go ahead and see what we have going on here starting off at the head just like a Mafex figure he has movement at the lower neck and at the upper neck so using both of those He's able to get some really nice tilt action out of the head, <laughs> which is perfect for a character like this that has a bunch of attitude. And I like that the hair is able to move too. You could actually swing the, the braids around so they don't get in the way. So yeah, as you can see, you could tilt his head either way, which is very nice. And then he's able to look up to about right there, which is pretty good. He could look down to right there, which is nice. And then he could look side to side. So really good stuff at the head and the neck area. And I love that the hair doesn't get in the way at all. So yeah, man, they killed it right there. And then for the torso, Jada Toys does have my favorite torso setup, which is a diaphragm cut and a ball joint at the waist. Using both of those, we get some really nice movement forward. As you could see, he could crunch forward to about right there, which is very nice. Using both joints, he's able to go back to about right there. We get some nice side to side with both joints working together. And then you can twist on the waist joint. You can't really twist on the diaphragm. It's a little too tight. But we get some nice side to side at just the diaphragm and then a lot of nice crunch at the diaphragm. But obviously the best way to maximize this whole torso situation is to use both joints at the same time. So really good stuff. And Jada Toys does a great job of like not making the figures too gappy, but still allowing a lot of range. You can see right here at the diaphragm, there's like no gap. You have to push it all the way back and like hold it to even see a gap. Like this is him going all the way back. And once you let it go, you don't even see a gap really. So that's really impressive to maintain that much movement without any gaps or too much spacing. So really dope. And then at the shoulders, he does have butterfly joints that move really nice. Check that out. Look how far he's able to get his butterfly joints to go back, which is really, really helpful when you're trying to get him into punching poses and things like that and then you could also bring his arms forward a nice amount get his arms in front of him boom to about right there so really good stuff at the shoulders Let's see what else we have going on look at that boom get him into some boxing poses some boxing poses <laughs> boom really nice So good stuff there with the butterfly joints. And then he does have ball joints at the shoulder as well. So they do go all the way around. And you can bring his arms up to about right there. Which is really good. And then he has upper bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow that gets a really good range. And then at the wrist he just has a swivel and a hinge. 
And then for the legs, I love the way that Jada Toys does their leg and hip area too, because there's no like drop down hip or anything, but they use soft material like around the waist so that like it doesn't really hinder the articulation at all. And even without like drop down hips, you could get like DJ to bring his leg up a crazy amount for those really crazy kicks that he does. Boom. Look at that. That is awesome. You can maybe even bring it up more. Yeah, that's crazy right there. And he could bring his legs out to the side a really nice amount. Man, he could do the splits. Some really nice kicking action right there. Boom. And then he does have upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee. Bam, that bends to right there, which is crazy because he does have like these pants on and he's able to bend to right there. And the knee doesn't look ugly when it's bent. So that's crazy. And it looks good when it's not bent. So they did a great job with the knee area. And then at the foot, he has a swivel. And his foot could go forward to right there, come up to right there. And then we get rocking ankles. So yeah, man, like I said at the beginning, the articulation is just ridiculous on this guy. So much fun to pose around and play with. You could get him into all kinds of fighting poses and it's just a blast to play around with this figure. So they definitely killed it in the articulation department as they always do. Alrighty, so overall, at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the dust settles and it's all said and done, I think that DJ turned out really, really dope. Once again, Jada Toys coming through, killing it with the Street Fighter stuff. I think fans of Street Fighter that have been waiting for a good DJ figure are going to be very excited about this guy because Jada Toys did a phenomenal job on him. Honestly, I don't really have any complaints. I think the figure does its job perfectly. It looks really good. It captures the vibe of the character. He definitely has goofy, arrogant energy to him <laughs> which is perfect everything is well sculpted the paintwork is nice i really like the subtle like paint wash they did in the muscle it's not overdone it just looks really good and the accessories are cool too i like that he came with two heads the energy effects two sets of hands it would have been nice to get more hands i mean that's always the case but i do appreciate that they kept it simple and just gave him some fists and some celebration hands i think that's pretty much all you need for a guy like this the main attraction here is definitely the articulation and the fun factor the figure is such a blast to mess around with you're going to be playing around with this figure all the time it's just so much fun to get him into these crazy fighting poses and you're able to get like game accurate poses out of this guy which is really cool but yeah man i think they killed it all the way around if you're a big fan of dj i think that you're gonna love this figure so yeah you better jump on it while you can he is available for pre-order at big bad toy store i'll leave a link to that in the description below so there you go but yeah man jada toys killing it with the street fighter stuff i can't wait to see some of the other figures that they have on the horizon especially some of the bigger characters they've already proven to us that they could kill it with the normal size characters or smaller characters like dal Sim and chung lee and even fei long they did a great job on all three of those but I'm curious to see how they're going to handle like Bullrog or Blanca or E Honda. Like, are those figures going to be as fun as some of the other ones? I think they are going to be because I have faith in Jada Toys. So far, they've been doing a phenomenal job. And I think those figures are going to come out great. But I can't wait to see. I'm really curious. So we'll see how those turn out. But yeah, so far, Jada Toys is absolutely killing it with the Street Fighter stuff. And that's not coming from like a Street Fighter fan. That's coming from, you know, an action figure enthusiast. From that perspective, they're giving us some phenomenal figures for a really good price so yeah they're awesome huge shout out to jada toys and with that i think that's it thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff also be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that i go live thank you very much peace